Unlocking your potential as a high-value man is a journey that goes beyond surface-level charm. It's about becoming the kind of man who naturally attracts attention and respect. Now imagine this. You hold the key to increasing your attractiveness, not just in a superficial sense, but as someone genuinely valued. So, what sets apart a high-value man? It's not just about appearance, it's a blend of confidence, character, and a certain magnetic quality that draws people in. Ever wondered how you can elevate your appeal and become that high-value man everyone admires? In this video, we will look into how you can improve your attractiveness as a guy. Ready to level up? Let's get started. First and foremost, let's talk about the power of scent. While visual appeal holds sway for men, women are notably captivated by fragrance. Research indicates that a man's body odor plays a pivotal role in women's selection of potential partners. So, where do you begin? Well, the journey to olfactory excellence starts with a morning shower. A refreshing body wash serves as the cornerstone for emanating a captivating aroma. The essence of cleanliness lays the groundwork for alluring scents. Establishing a signature fragrance that aligns with your personality is the next crucial step. Whether it's the earthy notes of wood, the zest of citrus, or the allure of spiciness, opt for a scent that not only complements you but also instills a sense of confidence and sophistication. However, a word of caution moderation is key. Dousing yourself in cologne isn't the solution. Instead, a subtle application on your pulse points, wrists, neck, and behind the ears is the perfect strategy. This delicate balance ensures that your scent becomes a subtle yet compelling part of your overall presence. Secondly, deep voice. Your voice matters when it comes to how attractive people find you. Having a deep voice can make men seem more appealing to women and more dominant to other guys. Hormones like testosterone, which are linked to having a larger body size, can influence having a deeper voice. To get a deeper voice, you can try something called deep chanting. Basically, repeating the oom um sound in a controlled way can help relax your vocal cords. Another method is to find a quiet outdoor spot and let out some growling screams as loud as you can, but don't overdo it because too much screaming can hurt your vocal cords. Clearing your throat is another trick. Take a deep breath, swallow your spit before you talk, and it helps relax your vocal cords, making your voice deeper. You might notice your voice is deeper in the morning, and that's because your vocal cords are more relaxed after a good night's sleep. Instead of speaking from your throat, try speaking from your diaphragm. It's like a natural amplifier for your voice, and if you want an extra boost, consider using mint pastilles. They can relax your throat muscles, open up your vocal tract, and temporarily make your voice deeper. Just keep in mind that it's a temporary thing. Number three, your appearance. Crafting the right facial hairstyle can work wonders for your appearance, emphasizing your most attractive masculine features. Your face shape, skin tone, and personal preferences play crucial roles in finding the style that suits you best. If your face is round, think about going for a mid-length beard with a tapered shape. This adds definition and complements the contours of your face. On the other hand, Individuals with long oval faces often rock fuller beards, balancing out proportions for a harmonious look. Square jaws and prominent chins pair well with stubble or shorter lengths, maintaining a chiseled and defined appearance. However, there's more to consider than just face shape. Age and natural hair color can influence the ideal facial hairstyle. For instance, those with lighter blonde hair and fair complexions, especially younger men, often shine brightest with a clean shaved look. This allows their smooth skin and bright features to take the spotlight. Finding the perfect facial hairstyle is a journey that requires trying out different approaches. It's an evolving process, as what complements you might change at different stages of life. The key is to experiment and discover what makes you feel confident and enhances your unique features. Grooming isn't just about following trends, but about finding a style that aligns with your individuality, ensuring you present the best version of yourself to the world. Next. Having a well-toned physique not only signals health and strength, but is also a key factor in attracting most women. Striking the right balance is crucial because extremes, being overly muscular or very skinny, are preferred by only a minority. The sweet spot lies in a body that exudes both attractiveness and dominance achieved through gaining lean muscle mass. In the pursuit of a desirable physique, don't overlook the importance of your neck. A robust neck not only contributes to a balanced, manly appearance, but also enhances your jawline, adding an extra layer of attractiveness. Strengthening the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles is the key to achieving a thicker neck. To embark on neck training, consider dedicating one. Two sessions per week, focusing on a single set of six. Ten repetitions with controlled movements. Proper warm-up is essential to prevent injuries and ensure that your neck training is effective. 
Remember, it's not just about building muscles. It's about creating a harmonious and appealing physique that radiates health and strength. Strive for a physique that not only aligns with your personal preferences, but also resonates with what is generally considered attractive, enhancing your overall sex appeal. Let's talk about something that might not immediately come to mind when working on your appeal. Your posture. If your posture isn't on point, it can reflect your thoughts and emotions. It's like your body is speaking a language of its own, showing what's going on in your head and how you see yourself. Now, why does posture matter so much? Well, think of it as a secret weapon for charisma. When you stand tall with a straight posture, you're basically telling the world, hey, I've got this. It's not just about looking good. It's about feeling confident, being a bit dominant in a good way, having integrity and feeling positive about yourself. It's like your body is sending out vibes that say, I'm here and I'm doing great. But it's not just about the external show. Good posture can actually make you a better communicator. Imagine this, you're talking to someone and you're slouched or all hunched up. It might send the message that you're not quite sure of yourself or maybe a bit self-conscious. On the flip side, standing tall and straight gives off an air of assurance and makes your words carry more weight. Finally, let's dive into a game changer. Confidence. When you carry yourself with confidence, it's magnetic. People can't help but be drawn to it. So how do you get this magical quality? First off, think about how you walk into a room. Imagine striding in with assurance, like you know you belong there. That's the first step. Hold your head high, shoulders back. It's like you're telling the world, I've got this. Now the eyes. Eye contact is your superpower. When you look someone in the eye, it's like saying, I see you and I'm not afraid. It's a small action that speaks volumes. It shows you're engaged, present and not backing down. But confidence isn't just about how you physically carry yourself. It's also about owning your opinions. Don't be afraid to speak up. Your thoughts matter and expressing them confidently can be a game changer. It's not about being loud or overbearing. It's about sharing your perspective with conviction. Now let's talk about the lasting impression. Confidence has this lingering effect. When you walk away from a situation, people remember how you made them feel. If you exude confidence, it leaves a mark. It's like a signature that says, I was here and I brought my A-game. Sure, building confidence might not happen overnight. It's a journey, a process of embracing who you are and owning it. But every step counts. Start with the little things, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you engage with others. Over time, it becomes a part of you. So next time you step into a room or engage in a conversation, remember this. Confidence is your sidekick. It's the quality that turns heads, sparks interest and leaves a mark. Hold yourself with assurance, make eye contact and let your opinions be heard, because confidence, my friend, is undeniably attractive.